Okay, today we're going to look at updating the firmware on the Rangelink transmitter and receiver. Uh, it's the latest firmware 2.1. Uh, there's later than that, but I'm just going to go with 2.1. Uh, to work with the new 8-channel and 4-channel uh, receiver. So first thing we're looking at is Sid's um, his homepage on RCG here, his blog. Um, we need to download a couple of things. Uh, we need to download the flashing program for the transmitter and the flashing program for the receiver. Um, the easiest way, because I use different programs, the easiest way uh, to get the program for the receiver is to pull it right from this release 4 zip. So we're going to click there, it's downloading, and we will bring that up. And what we'll be looking at in this file is this Flashlink PRJ. Um, we're going to use that to update the transmitter. Uh, also to do this update, you're going to be wanting to use uh, this Flashware updating tool. It's a CP2102 breakout. Uh, you can get it directly from uh, SID's website. And uh, it comes with a nice ribbon cable. We, we pulled off all of the unnecessary ones. So we've got three. And uh, important is to know that you've got one uh, going to the ground. You've got one going to transmit and one going to receive. They're all written on there in little letters. You can see exactly what you're plugging into. So those are, for right now, the only three wires that we need. Um, again, it's a CP2102. When you plug this into your computer, you're, if you've got a more recent version of Windows, it should uh, download the driver automatically. If it does not, I will show you where to get it. So I'm going to uh, put this into our uh, USB port. And again, like I mentioned, Windows later versions should download the driver automatically. If it doesn't, go to uh, the Polulu uh, website. That's uh, it's www.polulu.com slash forward slash docs forward slash zero j seven forward slash two. And uh, right here you could download the driver. Um, so that'll be downloaded. And you'll be able to communicate with that. And uh, again, let's go back to the updating flashing tool. So, for to to summarize, uh, our orange wire is on the ground. The uh, yellow wire is on the transmit, and the green wire is on the receive. So, when you look at your uh, transmitter module. The sticker here says uh, RXD, TXD, and ground, G, N, D. So we know ground is uh, the orange one. So ground to ground. Ground from there to ground from there. Then the next we see here is transmit, TXD. So we want to find uh, the receiver, which is going to be that um, green wire. So again, we have got... Rx to Tx, and then again the last one Tx to Rx. Gonna go right in this last. Um, Y'all have yours powered up differently. Note to that to do this update you need power. Uh, again, three cells, just how I run it. Plugs right in there, so now that's got power. So that's all fine and dandy. We go again. Remember we downloaded uh, this zip file release four, so we'll pull that up. And we are looking at the Flashlink PRJ. So we're going to click that. I'm going to run it. Okay, and I am on COM4. Select your COM port. And then, so what you could do to verify and see what um, you know which which firmware version you got on there you can click get info and it's going to tell you exactly what you have if you have the previous versions it may be 1.2 1.25 or whatever I've already done this but uh, in any case we'll, we'll show you how you find out what you got you just click get info and there you have it range like master design by Sid Wong no I'm messing that up version 2.1 uh, I've already done this again so anyways that's how you verify what uh, firmware you got on there so we want to um, we're going to uh, minimize this just for a minute and I'm going to show you where to get the latest hex file. 
I am on 2.1. There's later versions, but um, I haven't I haven't tested that. It's just announced recently, so it's got a new one. But um, 2.1. This contains the hex file, so we click on that. there okay and then we could see again bear in mind this is a transmitter so range link tx v2.1 dot hex uh, that's what we'll be using the way we load this up if we go backwards in time here a little bit is uh, using this um, this tool here flash link prj run run um, four. Then we hit open, which allows you to browse through your computer. Uh, so I'm going to go to my downloads, and then I'm going to go to V2.1, which I just showed you where to get. And then you see the hex files. We're on transmitter, so we select transmit. We hit open, and it is as simple as you hit send. I'm not going to because I've already got it on there, but just click send and then that's all there is uh, basically to um, update, in the, uh, update in the firmware. After that, you could hit exit right after it loads and uh, power off everything. Okay, so picking up where we left off, we are going to upgrade the firmware on the receiver. This video is going to be about a 12 channel receiver. Um, I've got the 12 channel receiver already mounted here on, uh, on my quad. Um, so, again, where we left off, I'm going I'm to show you from the, from the start again. Release 4, to get to that tool, remember I mentioned flash link PRJ. Same thing that we used to update the, uh, the transmitter. Extract all. I'm gonna have to fucking cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna run um, Flash Link uh, PRJ. Run on it. This is exactly what we used for the transmitter. We are going to uh, first make the connection. I'm gonna show you how to make the connection to the 12 channel receiver. Uh, if you look at the range link manual, you'll see the last set of pins, so your ESC and stuff will go there. The very last pin, SGTXRX. So SG is going to be the ground, transmit, receive. Same deal with the transmitter, we're crossing to transmit and receive. So, um, let's get in on the angle here. Our last pin, mine's mounted upside down, but last pin, ground on the outside, and then where our yellow wire is the receive wire uh, that's going to go to the transmit and the uh, green wire is the receive which is going to go to the transmit actually I believe that's how it goes So ground to ground and cross transmit receive from the CP2102 to the receiver. Uh, this also needs to be powered on. I'm, um, so the easiest and best thing to do with your receiver is to power it with 5 volts, uh, you know, with BEC. I've got an ESC in here. I'm doing something I shouldn't and powering on a quad that ripped my face off with these carbon props. But in any case, 5 volts is getting there. And uh, that's now powered. Receiver's now powered. So we'll go to the COM4. And we're going to check what firmware is on there, just like we do with the transmit. Hit Get Info, and then we see, yes, I've got version 2.1 in there. I also previously flashed this. So, to find the correct hex file, we already downloaded that correct hex file. When we downloaded the transmitter one, uh, it came with the receiver one. They, they both came in the same you know, uh, file. So we'll hit open 
and V2.1 and we click on the receiver range link RX V2.1 dot HEX open it up and you click send same routine it's going to send it when you're done you click exit and um, then you'll go through your binding procedure again just like you did when you first got your range link uh, that's going to that's gonna wrap this up. Um, now there's going to be questions. There's probably going to be things I missed. So uh, just just uh, shoot us um, questions on the thread. And if not us, somebody else will certainly get back with you all. Uh, thanks for watching.